There is a team that dominated world football like almost no other team ever did. I mean, this team really started the run of European domination like we've never seen before. Ladies and gentlemen, today we are gonna build the Barcelona team that won six trophies in one season and started a run of just dominating football that is almost unbelievable. I am speaking of the 2009 Barcelona insane team. Now the goal today is to put this team together and play FC 24 and try to pick up a few wins. But one thing you must know, there's a few players that are not in the game so we won't be able to use them. For example, Victor Valdez, an amazing goalkeeper. Not even Pinto's in the game neither. I believe he was the backup. I think he was the backup at the time. Dani Alves isn't in the game. PK's also not in the game. And one of the greatest, 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 Iniesta. I don't believe Iniesta is in the game neither. So since those players aren't in the game, we will use players from Barcelona's current squad to finish the team. But there is enough of them for us to still have a lot of fun. So let's get into the starting 11. First, I want to let you know that on the bench, I got my boy Rafinha, Lewandowski, Frankie de Jong, and Juan Felix, a couple of the new Barcelona players. And the starting 11, let's get into it. I obviously have to have Messi in this team because, I mean, it's Messi. Now, there's two different versions of Messi we could use right now, his team of the year or his foot birthday. His foot birthday just came out. It is a brand new version of Messi that just, just hit the mark, just hit the game. Five-star skiller, five-star weak foot, high-low. I personally think it's the best Messi in the game. I know he's not the highest overall rating, but he has the five-star skill moves, which means he could do any skill move in the game. And he's also a high-low, which the other one's a medium-low. So the high-low means he's going to push forward and really, really play forward for us. Not only that, man, this is one of the greatest players to ever touch the field. Let's talk about him IRL. Messi was such a massive part of Barcelona's success. Now, when we talk about Barcelona, we know we would have they would have had success no matter what. So Barcelona's been doing what they do for years, decades. They are just that team. Um, but having Messi was a massive, 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 massive uh, help to what they did and what they put together and how amazing they were. So the little Argentinian man that won everything you could possibly win in football was such a massive part of this 2009 team. And he is in there at the striker position with two amazing players around him. But first, let's go to the defense. So I want to start off with players that are not in the game. Let's get that out the way because... That way, you know, eh, we can't like, you know, we'll just get it out the way quickly. Ter Stegen's gonna have to be the goalie because Victor Valdez is not available to us. Now, for me personally, Victor Valdez was an awesome goalkeeper that was pretty good with his feet. Just a really all around amazing goalkeeper. Do I think he's to the level of Casillas and Buffon and all them? No, 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 no. But he's a goalkeeper that was a massive, massive important piece to this Barcelona team and ran with them for years and years and years and won a lot of things as a goalkeeper. So unfortunately, like I said, Victor Valdez is not in the game anymore uh, or at the moment. So we got to go with Ter Stegen. On the right back position, it's supposed to be Dani Alves, but Dani Alves also is not in the game. So we got to go to Juan Felix. Now, there's many awesome things we can say about Dani Alves' footballing career, but as a person... He's going through a lot IRL. I don't really want to talk about what he has going on, and I don't really want to talk about him too much, but unfortunately, supposedly, he did some very, very, very bad things in life. So we're going to kind of move on from him, but Donny Alves would have been the right back, not in the game, so Jawon Cancelo has to be there. At the left back position... Abidal. Now, if you don't know the Abidal story, first of all, he was amazing, amazing left back. But as he's going through this amazing run um, as Barcelona's left back, I believe he had cancer and he had to go through treatment and he beat it. But he had this whole thing happen where he had to step away from football for a little bit. I don't know if a lot of you guys remember this, but he had to step away from football and it was it was it was a lot. Um, but that happened to him um, while he was with Barcelona. Abidal was an amazing left back lad, such a such a great left back. Um, but he's not in the game, so we're gonna have to use Balde. And the final player that we're gonna have to use that's not in the game is gonna have to be Arrojo because, ladies and gentlemen, PK is not in the game. PK was such an amazing center back, um, such a great center back, a center back that just kind of went so well with Puyol, a guy that like they complimented each other so awesome on the field. Um, one was an aggressor and the other one was kind of this good football, like had good ability with the, to play out the back on the, on, on the ball. One had height, one was short. They just really complimented each other very, very, very well, being one of the best center back duos 
we've ever seen. But unfortunately, like I said, PK is not in the game. And there's actually one more person that's not in the game. I forgot to mention. I do apologize. And the name is Iniesta. And because Iniesta is not in the game, sadly, lads, we're going to have to go with Pedri because it makes sense, right? No Iniesta will bring in Pedri. Um, and unfortunately, lads, that's the way the team has to look. So one, two, three, four, five of the main players from the 2009 team, unfortunately, are not gonna be in the team. No Iniesta, no PK, no Abidal, no Va Va Valverde, uh, um, uh, uh, Victor Valdez, and no um, Dani Alves, unfortunately. But thankfully, Everything else is here. Every other player of the 2009 team is here. So let's get into you. Get into it. I obviously told you guys about this amazing pair duo. You know what? Was Rafael Marquez part of that team? I'm not sure if he was there yet. Because if he was, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to play Rafael Marquez either way. Because Rafael Marquez was a huge part of Barcelona. And I don't know if he was there during that time. I want to say he was, but I'm not 100% sure. Let's go check it out. Rafael Marquez played for Barcelona um, for uh, how many years? A lot of years. Seven years he played for them. He, he played 242 games, 13 goals. You know what? I think Rafael Marquez might have been there, lads. Barcelona had to quickly turn to 2006 Champions League final. Uh, against Arsenal, Rafael Marquez earned this spot. I think he was there. He was there. I'm pretty sure he was there. Let's go. We got it right. Okay, we're good. So I think he was part of the team. He might not have been the starter because I think PK and Puyo, PK and Puyo were the starters. But I think Rafael Marquez was on the bench. I'm pretty sure he would back him up and, and, and slide in. So we'll go Rafael Marquez. We'll go Puyo. Looking what? Yo. We did it. Let's good bounce back, lad. Yo, thank goodness. All right, so only four players from the 2009 team is missing. We got Rafael Marquez, one of the greatest Mexican players to ever play. Let's just be 100% honest with you, uh, with each other. He played 147 appearances for Mexico, scoring 17 goals. Got 13 goals for Barcelona in 242 games. The team he played the most for was Barcelona. And um, he won many, 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 many things with Barcelona. So, ladies and gentlemen, Rafael Marquez. Let's speak about Puyol. One of my favorite center backs to ever do it. We'll do it. One of the most loyal players in football. 593 games for Barcelona and only Barcelona. Spent 15 years with Barcelona. The way he carried himself on and off the field was amazing. He was a leader. He was a hero. He was a monster in that back line. I love this man. Growing up watching this guy play, was so 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 exciting as you guys can see right there uh they talk about the 2009 uh massive season that we are actually building right now they talk about it right there in 2010 with the world cup spanish team where they won it and uh, uh, just huge man huge 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 player that achieved so much in his career played 100 games for spain and played 593 for barcelona ladies and gentlemen that is the back line to the 2009 barcelona team i'm so glad that rafael marquez popped up because i forgot about him we're gonna move forward to my opinion lads just my opinion many people will make fun of me for this Sergio Biscuits might be the best defensive mid of all time. And now I know I'm going to get a lot of uh, stick for this one, but I love Vieira. I love Conte. I love all the defensive mids that have played. Defensive mid is actually one of my favorite positions. When I talk about my favorite team, Benfica, players like um, um, uh, uh, ha uh, Javi Garcia and players like Matic, players like Ramirez sometimes play the DM role for us. These are some of my favorite players to ever play at Befica. I think the defensive mid role is one of the most difficult roles to play in football. Why? Because you have to help the defense, you have to help play out the back, you have to help organize everybody, you have to take people's position when they're out of position. If the right back's out of position, you gotta take that spot. If the center back's out of position, you gotta take that spot. You also have to help with the ball, the ball forward. You gotta be the, 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 the mastermind in the middle of the park to be able to help defend and help get the ball forward quickly. And this man was one of the most important players, not to just Barcelona, but to what Spain did. When Barcelona, what people don't understand is when Barcelona was dominating world football with the tiki-taka ball, so was Spain. 
And he was there for that. So was Xavi and Iniesta. But no one gives this man the credit. Sergio Biscuits was right there beside Xavi and Iniesta the whole time. He was the defensive mid that helped everything glue together. Xavi and Iniesta could do what they do because Biscuits was there to hold everything down. When one of them lost the ball, guess who was there? When one of them had to get the ball back quickly, guess who was there? He was the reason Xavi and Iniesta could move so freely in the Barca team and in the Spanish team. I truly believe that this might be the greatest center back to center defensive mid to ever play. And if not, he's definitely in the top three. He won sp stuff with Spain. He won everything he could win with Barcelona. This guy is him. And I know a lot of people don't give him that credit because I'm gonna be honest with you, I hated watching him play. He would lay on the floor and do things like this after he got fouled. He was just really one of those players that could really get on your nerves with the way he dove onto the floor or laid on the floor. But at the end of the day, lads, he was one of the most smartest minds in football. And if he ever takes up being a manager, I think he will be an outstanding manager. Anyways, we move forward to the next position who we just talked about, where we gotta go with the Spanish man, Xavi. That's right, lads, Xavi. We have his team of the year card. Potentially the best, one of the best passers to ever play. You can either go with Xavi and Iniesta, whoever you liked more. I personally liked Xavi more. I thought Xavi was just remarkable as a player. Now I think he's remarkable as a manager. Um, Iniesta might have been better. I just really, everybody likes what they like. And for some reason, I like Xavi's style of play more than I liked Iniesta. I think probably Iniesta was better. Um, but I just really, really enjoy Xavi. Now let's talk about Xavi, right? He played for Barcelona for 17 years, 767 matches with 800 and with 85 goals. Um, this guy is Barcelona. And that's why when he said he was leaving Barcelona as a manager, I didn't really understand it well because I think they should have stuck with him and I think they should continue to try to stick with him because this man knows everything there is to know about this club, man. This guy loves that club. You know it when you're there for 17 years, how loyal he was. I mean, it's just remarkable, man, to find a player that's with a club for 17 years. Like, I mean, you it's hard to find that, lads. And this guy was Barcelona in and out. One of the greatest players to ever touch the field. I freaking love him. I think he's amazing. Now we get to move forward to some icons. And we get to start off with the one and only French legend. Ladies and gentlemen, that's right. You may have not have known. Maybe you were a little bit too young. But Thierry Henry and Messi played together. And they were amazing. Thierry Henry left Arsenal to go to Barcelona. And he was at Barcelona for a nice three years where he played 121 goals. I mean, games and scored 49 goals. Now, to a lot of people, when we look at Messi and Ronaldo stats and we look at the strikers nowadays, you're like, yeah, that's not good. That's not good stats. But Thierry Henry was special. He could play the wing. He could play the striker position. He literally, him and Ronaldinho made me love football so much because the way they played the game. They brought happiness and joy to the field. They brought a smile like you, you watched him play and you got happy. There was something that was special about watching this man play the game. And I know anyone who watched him play knows what I'm talking about. But he was an absolute legend for Arsenal and he left a massive mark at Barcelona. He was an awesome, awesome player at Barcelona. There is one more man that needs to slide into this team and he goes by the name of Eto. Ladies and gentlemen, yes, Eto. Eto played with Thierry Henry, Eto played with Messi. In 2009, these guys together absolutely destroyed football and they were cooking up a beautiful, beautiful meal. Check this out, man. It was Messi, Thierry Henry, and Eto up top. Now I can go on for days and days and days and days and days and days about this guy, but I mean, it's it's Eto, lads. Eto was that guy, man. 201 games played for Barcelona, scoring 131 goals. I mean, anywhere this guy played, he scored massive amount of goals. Played for Inter, 102 games, scoring 53 goals. This guy was amazing. And this right here, lads, is the 2009 Barcelona squad. The difference is Pedri should be Iniesta. Balde should be uh, Abidal. Um... Uh, and and uh, João Cancelo should be Dani Alves, and uh, Ter Stegen should be Victor Valdez. But besides that, this was the amazing team that won six competitions in one season. An unbelievable squad. And now that I showed you the team, we got to see if we can win with it. 
in FC24. I'm going to stay in the 4-3-3 formation because that's pretty much what they ran in real life. Uh, Messi did play the wing and Eto did play the striker position. Um, but unfortunately, they don't let Messi go onto the wing. And I kind of want him on full chemistry. So, um, yeah, we're going to get into it like this and see how many wins we can pick up. So this is our first game. And I think that's a team that this offense should be able to cook that defense. I think. I hope. I mean, I really, really hope so. We have such a nice offense here. We got the Barcelona jerseys going against the Real Madrid jerseys. That is uh, always an interesting one. Let's go right there for Xavi. And I got Messi making a run already. And Messi's going to have to carry. Messi's going to have to carry. You know that. You know that. You know that. Here's Thierry Henry. He shoots. It gets blocked. My boy Xavi's right there. Falls to Messi. Messi shoots. That one gets blocked. We're unable to score. Good chance for us, though. If we talk about Barcelona, right, the play out the back was one of the most important things. So if we're going to play with the 0-9 team, let's make it look like the 0-9 team. They did not score a goal without dropping a lot of... Hey, never mind. They didn't really mess passes up. And look at me, bro. Come on, ball day. Make it happen, man. Drop that one to Messi. Goes to Thierry Henry. Thierry Henry keeps it live. I want Messi. I want Messi. I can't find him. Ah, I can't get... Yo, I can't get in. I literally can't get in. This guy has like a brick wall, but we steal it with Eto. And Eto goes to Thierry Henry. Thierry Henry finds that boy, Chavi. Chavi, Chavi, Chavi. This is Eto. That's what Eto does. He was always there to clean it up. He was always there to finish his dinner. That's the type of striker Eto was. He was amazing on the ball, but when you needed him the most, he knew how to be in the right spot at the right time. Up 1-0 is the Barcelona 9 team. Puyol, let's play. Puyol, please. Let's go, Puyol. Yeah. Wait a minute. I'm running right here. We are running right here, lads. We are off to the races. We're going to make something crazy happen. I can feel it. Here comes Eto. He ball rolls. He's great with his feet. He looks up. He finds a little messy. Messy, 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 messy. Ah, oh, my bad. Xavi, do what you do. Yes, Xavi. Yes, Xavi. Yes, Xavi. <gasps> Messi to Pedri. Pedri. What a ball. It's supposed to be. It's supposed to be Iniesta, but it's Pedri. It's supposed to be Iniesta, but it's Pedri. Did you see that ball from Messi? That's what they did, bro. That's what 2009 was all about. The runs, the passing, the, the ability to score goals. All of them could score. They all got involved from Iniesta, Xavi, all of them. Yo, they, they were all there offensively. It was a crazy, crazy team to watch. Here's Eto trying to find Messi. He can't. Messi. Messi. No. Yes, yes, yes. Go on. Sergio Biscuits cleans it up for us. Here comes Joan Cancelo. He finds Eto. Eto has to everyone re back post. I have to try it. I do. It's in. Yo, that was beautiful. I saw Thierry Henry back post unmarked. And you know what I got to do. I got to hit him right on the head, baby. I got to hit him right on the head. What a ball from Eto. I told you Eto was special, dude. He could do everything. And then what a diving header from Eto, from Thierry Henry to put it in. We are up 3-0 and we're just 20 minutes in. I low-key want to shoot this right here with Messi, but I'm not going to. I'm going to give this one to Juan Cancelo. He's going to find Eto. Eto's going to go back towards Me uh, Messi. Messi with the finesse. It's four. It's four. It's four. It's four for Barcelona. What a play. I believe it was Eto who laid it into Messi and Messi with the finesse into the back of the net. Messi's second goal. We are up 4-0 and we're just 30 minutes into this game. That's a great ball. That's a great goal. I may have messed up here, lads. I may have messed up. I want to apologize because our opponent has scored on us. It's 4-1. Now, I got to make sure I make this Barcelona team look good, right? We can't be out here on some nonsense. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this football. Look at this football. Messi. 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 Ah! I was going for that Barcelona football. Yo, I almost had it too. Iniesta. And that's Messi. Did I just say Iniesta? I didn't mean to. Xavi! Yo, I'm saying the wrong players' names. Yo, Eto, you got to score from there. We should be up 5-1, bro. Here comes Eto on the attack again. I wanted to use Messi, but we're not going to. Here's Pedri. Biscuits. Pedri. Never mind. We lose it. We get it back, though. Eto. Messi. Messi. Messi dropped one. Messi dropped two. Messi dancing. Messi drops another. Messi shoots. Messi! <laughs> Yo, it's so good. Yo, it's so good, bro. Oh, man. It's so good. Messy doing messy type things, bro. 5-1, 38 minutes in. My opponent's staying. Thierry Henry. Thierry Henry. 
Thierry Henry. La, 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 Thierry Henry. Oh, 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 oh. Lads, 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 lads. Nah, 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 nah. Oh, nine Barca would be proud of me right now. Oh, nine Barca would be proud of me. Did you see the football? That's what I'm saying, man. Not only did they, not only did they win games, they annihilated teams. And that's exactly what we're doing here. That's exactly what we got going. Don't, 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 that's exactly what we got going on here. The way we play out the back. Here we go. Watch this. Watch this. Watch this. Watch this. Oh, oh, uh, they're no longer proud of me. They are, they are no longer, they are no longer proud of me. Here comes Eto. I'm gonna try to swing this one into Messi. It doesn't work. That's not Eto. That's Thierry Henry, dummy. Here's Thierry Henry. Here's Thierry Henry. Here's Messi. Here's Messi. It's in there for Messi. It's in there. It's seven. It's seven one. We're 55 minutes in. We're not winning. We're destroying. We're doing the Barca way. We are doing the Barca way. He's staying. What are we doing? I'm going to be honest. There becomes a point where you feel bad. You really feel bad for your opponent. And I've hit that point. And I don't really want to keep going. I don't know what to do. He won't. He keep. He. Like, bro. Bro is staying. He ain't losing. He's learning. He is. He is here for the long. Look, he's going for it. And, and, but I feel. But do I put up. More, what? Like, what do we. Do? I feel so bad. Look at this pass. Here comes Messi. Messi, 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 Messi. Ole Messi. Ole Messi. Ole Messi. Ole Messi. Ole Messi. Dude, dude, dude. Que miras bobo. Hit the rage quick. Que miras bobo. Que miras bobo. Bobo, it's time to go, bobo. No, bobo, no, bobo. No, 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 no. Bobo, bobo. Bobo, 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 bobo. I don't want to go no more. I, guys, I don't want I don't want to do this. No, I don't want to. No, Javi, Javi, hey, dude, 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 dude. I feel like I'm going to back out for him. What do I do in a situation like this? Do I keep going forward? Do I keep attacking? Listen, Barcelona 09 would keep attacking. I'm not going to lie. But I don't know. I feel bad. Messi, I feel bad, yo. This is out of control, bro. We're in the 66th minute and we're 9-1, bro. We got to talk about it live. Don't kick it. No, man. Don't kick it, man. You, what are you doing? Stop kicking it. Just, no. Stop kicking it. Bro, he has to stop, bro, right? Like, eventually. Oh, here we go again. No, no. Thierry Henry, Thierry Henry, Thierry Henry. Paul Rose. Thierry Henry fights Messi, 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 Messi. He missed. Dude, dude, come on, man. There comes a point, right? It comes a point where it's okay. And so the right thing to do is to... No. No. Ah! 10, 10, 1, 10, 1. 10, uh, Thierry Henry just dunked on somebody, bro. Thierry Henry just dunked on... Dude, dude, dude. Listen. Listen. Don't kick it. 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 Please don't kick it. Don't kick it, bro. Listen. Don't kick it. Thank you. No! Eto. Thierry Henry. Eto. Thierry Henry. Xavi. Thierry Henry. Messi. Ay, 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 Messi, 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 Messi. Oh my goodness, dude. Ah, it's 11. Bro. I wanted, I want you to know something, bro. I want you to know something that this is not what I want to do. That this is the Barca way. The Barca way, they never stopped. They kept going. They kept going and going and going and going and going and going. And what they did was beat people and beat people and beat people and keep winning and keep winning and keep winning and keep winning. And, keep winning. and this opponent, he might be down. 11-1. He might be down 11-1. But he's not down on heart. My boy has heart. My boy has a lot of heart. He is ending the game. Whatever. All that was missing was a red card. VVD gets done up. VVD gets a red card for taking out the little Messi. And Messi from downtown. Ref, ref. Akao, ref. Akao. End it, ref. And fiend, ref. Fiend, fiend, fiend. It's done, bro. End it, ref. Ref, por favor. But if I, Messi, Messi, nah, Messi, 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 Messi. Pen out, pen out, pen out, pen out, pen out. Pen out, pen out, pen out, pen out, pen out, pen out, pen out. No, 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 no. Pen out, pen out, pen out, pen out. Messi, 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 Messi. Messi, Messi, Messi. Messi, 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 Messi. 12 1, lads. Yo, um, they won six trophies and we put up 12. What's half of 12? Six. GG's, no re. We move. I would first like to give a massive shout out to my opponent for having heart. The second thing I want to give is a massive shout out to every single one of these players and the ones that are missing. Because these players 
showed me football like I had never seen before. I don't care what anybody tells me. They started something that moved into the David Villa days and 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 you guys know the the all those days with Pep and everything that came with Barcelona after. But the football that they played on the field was they changed football for me completely. They changed football. They changed it completely. So shout out to all of these players that brought me so many memories. Shout out to the 2009 Barcelona team. That was such a fantastic team. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Please, in the comments down below, let me know what you want to see next. Maybe a Chelsea team or anything. Let me know what you guys want to see. Hopefully, you guys had a lot of fun watching this one. I had a lot of fun scoring those 12 goals. Thank you all for watching, and I will catch you in the next, next FC24 video. Love you guys. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye, guys.